Good morning to you all and welcome for the word of God and the reflection today. We are in the 29th week of uh, Thursday. So let us begin. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire. And how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father. A mother against a daughter and a daughter against her mother. A mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's readings, they invite us to live out our religious convictions and follow the right principles, even though it may cause us trouble sometimes. You know, the devil does not like when we live in our convictions and live a righteous life. He wants to attack. And that's the world we are living in now. That's the world we face today. But Jesus says, I have come to set the earth on fire. Wow. I have come to set the earth on fire. When Jesus was born, the angels, they proclaimed the, the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And when Jesus, after resurrection of Christ, Jesus proclaimed that he gave that peace to his disciples, saying, Peace be with you. He is the Prince of Peace. And now he says, I have come to set the earth on fire. So Jesus is giving us the true reality, what happens when we follow him. There will be divisions, there will be confusion among ourselves. So the fire Jesus is speaking, not the fire which can consume us, destroy us, but rather which can prune us or it can make us strong, the fire of the Holy Spirit. From the moment we accept Christ in any teachings, we will not know peace. Because division exists in the world and Christ's truth is the fire. When we stand firm in our beliefs, when we stand firm in our, in our faith or in our convictions, values, beauty, goodness in this world, we will encounter opposition in our own family sometimes. Let me give you one beautiful example. A few months ago, when man died and he had a four children, the man was very devout Catholic very good Catholic and uh, the firstborn he was uh, exactly like the dad very devout man devout Catholic good Christian but remaining three were almost fallen away from their faith when dad died the first son said we want to treat and respect and honor our dad according to his faith and beliefs and conviction we need to bring him to the church for mass, funeral mass, and then the Catholic burial. The remaining three said, no, we don't want that. 
but the first son did not stop rather he said nothing doing we have to respect our dad according to his faith and convictions and he brought him to the church and i happened to be i celebrated the funeral mass for him and there were a good number of people for the funeral but the children remaining three children they were at the back of the church they were like a just a spectators but i liked from the first son nothing doing and because of his conviction because of he stood firm you can see some kind of division among themselves and that kind of division jesus is speaking to us i have come to set the earth on fire divisions among ourselves when we follow him so when we stand firm in our beliefs we will encounter oppositions in our own family sometimes so we all need to have such convictions in life like the first son in our married life in our religious life in our family life in our work even in our faith because convictions will help us to seek the truth and righteousness so dear brothers and sisters the message is very clear for us today that we must hold on to what is true and beautiful all the time we know we will be tested and asked to water down our faith or our beliefs but one who stands firm will be rewarded at the end let us pray Lord Jesus may the fire of your love consume me and transform my life that i may truly desire nothing more than life with you Jesus please fill me with the power of your holy spirit that i may always seek to please you and do your will amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen the lord be with you and with your spirit the almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen god loves you do not be afraid keep smiling